Hi everyone. Um, I'm using a new app to record, so I don't really know how to start it with just my face being big. So I'm just gonna be down here in the corner, but we'll figure it out hopefully by the end of all of this. But we are gonna do our first video lesson, um, taking notes this way, I guess. So I gave you this note sheet right here um, in class. So we're gonna fill it out together and then um, that will be it for today, okay? So um, whatever I write down, just write that down too. Um, what's nice about the video is you can pause it and rewind to hear what I say if you're confused or um, you can write a note on your notes. Like when you get to a spot like that and it makes sense, you did a really crappy job explaining that, mark it. So then um, we can talk about it in class when I see you next, okay? So let's just dive in and see how this goes, okay? This is new for all of us. Um, all right, here we go. So it says, um, define order of operations. I think many of you have seen this before, but we're just gonna review it today. Um, but it's just a set of rules to help us clarify which mathematical procedure to do first when given a mathematical expression. Um, I know that's kind of a mouthful, so let's just write it down and see what it looks like. So a rule used to clarify which procedures should be performed first in a given um, mathematical expression. Okay, that's a pretty formal definition. Um, a lot of us refer to this as PEMDAS or GEMDAS, and that's this little acronym here, PEMDAS. Um, the P, or another way to think of this, um, is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And this is just a way for us to remember which thing happens first. So the P stands for parentheses. P stands for parentheses, so that's why it starts with please. The E st um, stands for exponents. The M stands for multiplication. Multiplication. You guessed it, D stands for division. Yep, it sure does. And then the last two, I bet you could probably guess if you don't know, A for addition. And then S for subtraction. So again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or sometimes called PEMDAS, is the way we go about simplifying a mathematical expression. So I'm just going to move my paper up here. Okay, perfect. Um, it says solve the following using PEMDAS. So it kind of looks like a lot of work, but it's really quite simple, I promise. Um, so what we do is we just look at our acronym here, PEMDAS, and we just follow it. So the, my first step, well, I got to look and see, do I have any parentheses? And sure, we have actually two sets of parentheses, right? So I'm first going to do this guy, so maybe I want to underline it so I know. So what is 1 plus 3? Well, we know 1 plus 3 is 4. And then you just copy down the rest of it how you see it. So I'm going to drop down my minus. But oops, look, I get to another set of parentheses. So not to simplify what's inside there. So 2 times 1 is 2. 
So now we're left with a really simple expression to simplify because we all know that four minus two is just simply two. And that is it. And now we're done. See, not so bad, right? Okay, let's hop on over to number two. So it says 14 minus seven divided by 13 minus six is equal to what? Well, again, let's just start with our PEMDAS. So if I start, start with P, do I have any parentheses here? And again, I have actually two sets, right? So let's start with the first one. So 14 minus seven, well, what is 14 minus seven? Well, we know that is just, I'm gonna write it over here if that's okay. It's just seven. Then we gotta put in our division sign. Then we simplify 13 minus six. Well, 13 minus six is just seven. Now seven divided by seven is one. Now we're done. How do we feel? It's kind of weird, right? I'm just talking to myself. Okay, next up, number three. We have three squared minus four. Again, let's refer back to our PEMDAS. Start with P. Do I have any parentheses here? I don't see any. So now we move on to the next letter. Okay, well, E stands for exponents. Do we have any exponents? We sure do. We have three squared. So remember, three squared is really just saying three times three. So if I simplify that, I'm gonna have nine minus four. Well, nine minus four we know is five. And that is it. Okay, moving on to number four. 50 divided by four squared plus three squared. So again, let's look back at PEMDAS. Where do I start? We look and see if we have any parentheses, and yep, we sure do. Right here, we have a set of parentheses, so we're gonna drop down our 50. Well, I'm gonna write it to the side here. Divided by, and now we simplify. But really, I have now exponents in here, so we have to take care of that first. So I'm gonna have four squared, which is 16, because four times four is 16, plus three squared we just said was nine. And now we go from here. So have I gotten rid of those parentheses yet? I haven't, so we still have to get rid of this set of parentheses. So drop down your 50 one more time, and now 16 plus nine would be 25. And then lastly, divide out what's 50 divided by 25. We know that is 2. And there we go. I'm going to shimmy my paper. Well, I guess I can wait a little bit. Okay. Number 5, it says 3 times 15 plus 1. So again, we're going to refer back to our acronym here. Do I have any parentheses? Nope. Exponents, do I see any exponents? No, I don't. Now it says multiplication. Well, we do, look, right here, three times 15. So let's simplify that. What is three times 15? Well, we know that is 45, and then drop down your plus one, and now just finish it. What is 45 plus one? It is 46. And then we're done. Okay, you guys try this one. Start it before I do. So like pause the video or just start it and then let's see what we get, okay? So ready, set, go. Try it on your own and then I'll do it. Did you pause it or are you just waiting for me to do it? Pause it, pause it right now. Okay, I'm trusting that you paused it so now I'm gonna do it. So again, go back to your acronym. P stands for parentheses, so we're gonna start there. And I have two sets again. So let's start with this one. Four minus three gives me one. Drop down your multiplication sign. Now three minus three is zero. Now from here we just simplify. 
one times zero is, what's one times zero? Is it one? Is it zero? Anything times zero is just a big old goose egg. Zero. All right, good work kids. Did anyone get that right? I hope so. Okay, four left, we're almost there. So I'm gonna write pandas up here just so we can see it. Okay, so this time it says solve the following given A equals two. So before we can do what we were just doing, we're gonna add one step and plug in two every time we see an A. So we call it substitution, if you remember that. If you ever heard of that, I guess I, I, should, I should say. Um, so let's start with number one. So I have to rewrite this whole thing so I can plug in a two every time I see an A. So let's just start with what it looks like. So first I have a four, then a division sign. And now instead of writing A, I'm gonna write two, because I'm plugging in for A, minus one. And now we fall back on PEMDAS and see what happens. So I do have a set of parentheses right here. So four divided by two is two. Now drop down everything else, two minus one. And we know that two minus one is just simply one. Done. Good work. All right, number two. So again, we're gonna plug in two every time we see an A. So if I rewrite this, I'm gonna have two squared plus eight divided by six. And now come back to PEMDAS. Do we have any parentheses? Yep, we sure do. So to simplify what's going on in here, well, first we have to figure out what is two squared? Well, two squared we know is four, now fill out the rest exactly how we see it. So plus eight divided by six. Now four plus eight is 12. Good deal. So we just took care of our parentheses and that's how we got the 12. And now we just finish it off. What is 12 divided by six? Well, we know that is just two. All right, folks, good work. We got two left, and then we are good to go for the day. All right, here. Same thing, we're gonna plug in a two for that A, so I'm gonna rewrite it. Nine squared minus two times five. Now, what do we do first? Well, do I have any parentheses? No, I don't. Do I have any exponents? Yep, I do. Look, nine squared. So what's nine times nine? Well, we know that is 81. Now write down the rest of it. Perfect. And now what happens first? Subtraction or multiplication? Well, good thing we have PEMDAS up here to tell us, right? So let's go through. We don't have anything for exponents, but look, multiplication, that happens next. So first we have to take care of two times five. So drop down your 81, drop down your subtraction sign, but now what's two times five? It's 10. And now we just finish it off. 81 minus 10 is 71. All right, folks, we are on the last problem here. Again, pause the video right now, and I want you to try this on your own so you can compare your work with my work when you're done, okay? So pause the video and we'll compare our answers. I'm trusting that you paused it and tried it. Okay, so I'm gonna start it right now. So again, I'm gonna find all my A's and plug in two. We're substituting in, remember that's what that's called. And now from here, we're gonna use PEMDAS to figure out what happens first. So I have a set of parentheses, so we have to take care of what's inside here. So two squared we know is four, three squared we know is nine, and now we gotta copy down the whole thing again. 
and think we still haven't even taken care of that parentheses yet. I still have to figure out what is this quantity. So let's figure this out. 4 plus 9 is 13 plus 14 times 2. Now again, we kind of get stuck. Do I take 13 plus 14 first or 14 times 2 first? And what's nice is we just follow PEMDAS and it will tell us what to do. We already took care of the parentheses. There are no exponents. Do I have multiplication? Look, at, I do. It's right here. So 14 times 2 gives me what? 28, right? So now lastly, I just have to take 13 plus 28 to get... 41. Woohoo! Air fives all around. We just did our first video lesson. I hope it went okay for you. I mean, I'm a little rusty. It's been a while since I've taught, right? Um, again, if you have any questions, um, don't be afraid to email me. We'll talk about it in class when I see you next. So as long as you have your videos, um, watch the video and take a note, you are good to go. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you next time in class. Have a good one.